When is the best time to trade in your car? You're going to get less trading in your car to the dealer than selling it yourself. Now that may seem obvious, but the dealer needs to make a profit on that vehicle. But there are still a number of factors that also affect the trade-in price and its resale value. And being aware of some of these factors can help set your expectations and get the right price. I'll explain. <laughs> Welcome back to Car Coach Reports. I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time here, we give you more than car reviews and first looks. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. When is the right time to trade in your car? Well, some people base it solely on mileage. They try not to put too many miles on their vehicle so that they won't hurt its value when it's time to sell it or to trade it in. But your car's mileage may not matter as much as you think. The value of your car drops slightly when you reach each 10,000 mile marker that you drive. Now, according to websites like Edmunds.com and others, there is no major drop off at any certain mileage marker. Even vehicles with 100,000 miles are not value killers as long as the car is in good shape. Now, especially in today's mileage and shortage of vehicles, you can get some good money. And the truth is, there's no magic number on mileage. What matters more is the model year. If your car is only a few years old, it is likely to retain 60 to 70% of its original value. And this remains true even if you drive the average mileage of 12,000 miles a year. Now cars that are five years old or older, that are well maintained and in good shape will retain their value and often resell more quickly than newer ones that are in lesser condition. Now, obviously, the longer you have a car, the more it's going to depreciate. That makes sense. And when a car is between five and seven years old, they decline and its value slows, then it pretty much settles out. So if you don't trade it in in the first five years of ownership, there's not much of a reason to rush to get rid of it before it turns eight years old. You should be able to get the same amount of money back as long as the mileage doesn't skyrocket. Good to know, right? But I do not recommend trading in your vehicle if you still have a balance on the loan and have not yet earned equity. This means you still owe more money than the car is actually worth. We call that in the business underwater on your loan. And with the average length of a car loan increasing over recent years, this is becoming more and more common. Instead, reach out to your creditor find out how much you owe on the loan. Then compare that to the estimated value of your car on a trade-in or if you sell it privately. And when its value is higher than the amount of money you owe, then it's time to consider selling it or trading it in. Now you'll have something to put toward a buy or a lease, whether it be a new or used vehicle, but keep in mind that your car declines in value with each passing year and each additional mile. Now to get the most value of your trade-in, clean your vehicle, stage it essentially, get the maintenance records and take all your personal junk out of the vehicle. A car that's in good shape will command a larger sum than one that needs multiple repairs or even any damage. And the best thing you can do for your car's value is to maintain it both inside and out. We talk about this all the time. So here's the bottom line. If your vehicle needs repair, and the cost of the repair is more than the value of the vehicle, sell the vehicle and find a better one. Never invest more money into a car than it's worth. And if you do, it will take many years to recoup your fees and you're just gonna get frustrated. We don't want that. Now, if you got value from this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions or comments, because you always do, and I love them, put that down in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them, whether it's here or on any of my social media, which is at Lauren Fix. You can find me literally everywhere. Also check out our website, carcoachreports.com. We have content in English and Spanish, not just car reviews, but some other great articles that might be of interest to you. Also, you can listen to our podcast, Total Car Score. It's available on all platforms where we go behind the scenes and find out what makes the industry tick. And if you want even more car smarts, check out my book, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. The link is down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.